So, Honorable Dr. Abdallah Utmat Kwishima, our Minister of Youth, Nili Mukazaire, the Deputy Chief of uh, RDB, Martin Siegel, Board Chair of the Siegel Family Foundation, members of the Board of Directors, Executive Director Andy Bryant, esteemed partners, agents of change, and guests from the world of philanthropy. Good morning. Welcome to the 10th Seagull Family Foundation Annual General Meeting. 10 times thus far, you've convened across the world to revisit your impact on social justice for the, commu for the communities you diligently serve. 10 times thus far, you've recommitted yourself to enhance service, sharper policies, and greater funding for visionary local leaders. And then 10 times thus far, you've honored your past pledges. For this, may acclaim and encouragement be yours. Ladies and gentlemen, sound and resolute partnership have indeed proven their efficacy. Your very mission, Siegel Family Foundation, attests to your wisdom in this matter. Indeed, your connecting of donors and doers has nurtured countless dreams across the continent and transform them into tangible realities. And speaking of transformation, distinguished guests, thank you for accompanying us on our own quest for a negotiable equity and dignity for all. How very apt this year's general meeting theme should be transforming how change happens in Africa. You've understood and matched Imbuto Foundation's vow to place its own brick in the building of a transformed nation. What a path we have jointly trailed, trailed and walked. Together, we have challenged each other, as I believe all strong partners must. Together, we have crafted a shared, possibly, possibly unique role in empowering community-based organizations to drive the change they desire and deserve. Together, we have opposed the flawed notion that Africa must remain on the receiving end of aid rather than Africa supporting itself, nurturing itself, and developing itself. Yes, together, we have turned ideals into actions, contributing to improved education, health, and leadership outcomes from uh, tens of thousands of uh, secondary school students, university students, and young people from different walks of life. And in doing so, we have, invested, we have invested in and shown our trust for youth-led community-based organizations. And some of these current and future agents of change are here today, and their presence indicates how much our investment yields sustainable gains. I invite you, dear guests, to join me in celebrating the fact that almost half of a Siegel Foundation-funded organization is, uh, in Rwanda are women-led. <laughs> and we are particularly receptive to such intentional centering of women. Our country relies equally on women and men to achieve our developmental goals. Rwanda's gender mainstreaming laws and policies and the watchful eye of uh, our gender monitoring office defend gender equality principles and, and promote gender equality principles at all levels, from state budget allocation to maternity leaves for female employees in all registered offices and organizations, down to the protection of women and girls from gender-based violence. Ladies and gentlemen, the economy Technology, the state of global health, and every other feature of our experience as citizens of the world have evolved since your inception, Siegel Family Foundation, almost two decades ago. And with these change, changes, we have, come, we have come invaluable progress in our population's welfare. But this progress has been tailed by new challenges as well. We know mental health to be in greater need of attention and interventions. We know 
technical advances to pose the threat, the threat of widening the gender gap. We watch daily as around the world, global warming, conflict, and resource misallocation threatens full supply, even across fertile regions. This knowledge must inform decisive action in this sooner than tomorrow. We must wield our collective strength and resolve our collective determination to be a force for good, our shared creativity and diverse expertise to overcome the challenges we face, old and new. May we leave these years inspired and invigorated with renewed, with, with renewed strength to amplify the voices of those who need it the most. And to the doers of Seagull Family Foundation's good work, you are the spark from which we must all draw light. As you contribute to the development of our communities, you ensure that the next generations have healthy, blazing torches to pass on to one another. And as I conclude, allow me to express my deepest gratitude to the Seagull Family Foundation and entire teams for, tireless, for their tireless effort in supporting early stage organizations. I bear no doubt that together at our respective levels, transformations of our own making can occur, riding the waves of change as opposed to seeing these waves wash over us. I wish us all a wonderful swim and uh, thank you for your kind attention.